Hello everyone, welcome back to Educated Iron. Today we answer an age-old question that all of us ask. Which is better for fat loss? Cardio or weight training? Let's look at some elite athletes. Marathon runners and sprinters both have pretty low body fat percentages, but so do bodybuilders. Neither one of those two share something in common. Bodybuilders are big, muscular, have a low body fat percentage. Sprinters and marathon runners are fast, typically don't have a whole lot of muscle mass, and have low body fat percentages. Yet they do two different things. So which one's better? If we look at how we metabolize body fat, you can see that increasing your heart rate for an extended period of time is actually what causes that weight loss. But that doesn't necessarily mean cardio is the best way to do it. Not to say that cardio doesn't work. If you look at people that are avid runners, they tend to have a low body fat percentage as well. But keeping that body fat off is what we really want to look at. That's where developing muscle really comes into play. When you have more muscle on you, you have a higher resting metabolic rate. So if we're able to put on more muscle, we're able to burn more calories more efficiently and more often. Well, with that logic, we can say that power lifters, people who have a lot of muscle mass on them, should have a low body fat percentage too. Well, look at heart rate again. Those guys may get their heart rate up really high for a very short amount of time, but it's not prolonged, like I said before. So, keeping that heart rate up at a pretty consistent pace is what's going to be key. In order to burn fat efficiently, you need to be between 60% and 70% of your maximal heart rate. So, the easiest way to find that is 220 minus your age. And mine is bad at math. 197. So my maximal heart rate is 197. Theoretically. It's not an exact science. But if I take 60% of that, I get 118. So I need to be staying between 118 and, again I'm bad at math, 137. So if I can stay between 120 and 140 roughly, I'm in that fat burning zone, or as it's called. That's not a definite science either. That's just the recommendation that a lot of different institutions recommend. Some of you are saying, but doesn't cardio kill your gains, bro? Well, that's a half truth. It's a perpetuated myth, if you ask me. You have to get really deep into your glycogen stores or be in a really deep calorie deficiency in order for that to happen. Catabolism doesn't occur by just doing cardio. That isn't how that works. You have to really dig into your stored energy. And that doesn't happen for most of us. If you're on a severe diet and you're really being serious, yeah, it's more likely. But for the most of us, it's not going to happen. If you have the time for it, the best way to do that is to do your cardio in the mornings and your weight training in the evenings. If you don't have time for that, however, HIT or circuit training, even CrossFit in some cases, eh, can get you those same results. You're doing high intensity cardio coupled with strength training. And like I said before, you need a little bit of both in order for you to be successful. Something else I want to cover today. What lifts are perfect for doing just what I said? Okay, there are three, the big three. Bench press, deadlift, and squat. Now, I'm going to show you the form on these in a later video. Today I simply want to talk about the basics. The reason I list those three is because they utilize almost every muscle in the body. If you look at bench press, you've got your chest, core, arms, shoulders. If you look at squat, you got your lower back, your legs, your core again. If you look at deadlift, again, core, legs, middle back, upper back, lower back. You covered everything. For those of you that don't have a lot of time during your day, I really do recommend you looking into HIT, high intensity interval training. It's a very easy way to incorporate both of those aspects I was talking about, strength training and cardio. You'll see what I mean when you look it up. By the way, this is Alpha. I've merely scratched the surface on this topic, and none of you actually suggested it, but I feel like it's a topic that a lot of people want to know more about and don't know enough about, to be honest. I've included a link in the description below if you'd like to go and look at it. There's a lot of good material in there that you should really know about. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you coming to check the channel out. If you like the content and you'd like to suggest topics for next week, please comment below or tweet at me, at EducatedIron. I'm up to any kind of topic. See you guys next week. Bye.